Hello and welcome. The new MacBook M1 has attracted a lot of attention among techies. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how this MacBook M1 is helpful for the structural biologist. So let's have a look at the specifications. This is MacBook Pro 13 inch with M1 chip, 16 GB RAM, Retina display and 250 GB SSD. I'm going to show Pymol, Phoenix and Kurt in this video which will give you a decent estimation about the performance of this MacBook. First, let's start with the Pymol. I will open one of my structures, 6H SH. This is the structure of HDAC 8 with Quiznostat inhibitor which I have solved during my PhD. Let's color by chain. So, 4 HDAC 8 monomers are in the asymmetric unit. To demonstrate the power of MacBook, let me generate symmetry mats. So, interesting question. How many angstroms your computer can handle? 8, 12 angstroms maybe. But here, I go and generate 1000 angstroms directly. It's instant and smooth. This one example is good enough, I guess, to understand. This computer is really powerful. I'm using trackpad. It's smooth, everything is very clean. Let's hide the cartoon and show ribbons. This should also be smooth without any problem. So we go to the next step by generating surface. This will slow down a bit. So I will fast forward here. So it took me nearly 57 seconds. So almost one minute to generate the surface. But once it's done, it's super smooth again. So this structure has nearly 450 amino acids in one monomer, so total 4 monomers. So you can have the estimation of the size of this structure. I'm going to change the color to show you how quick it works in this surface representation. It took a second to change the colors. Let me try one more time. Change color to spectrum. Yeah, it took a second or two again, but smooth again in rotation. The structure is in P1 space group. I will try to open another structure with a P6 symmetry so we can see the crystal symmetry in this way. So the structure I'm opening is 6BDG. It's a structure of an RNA binding protein. So let's show the colors by secondary structure and generate symmetry mates. So that's it. You can understand the six fold symmetry here. Turn around. And remove water for clarity. Let's show the cell for a symmetry mat and then we will try to understand the crystal symmetry. You can observe here 6 alpha helices from 6 different monomers arranged in P61 symmetry. That's the beauty of crystallography. It's really amazing. So 
So finally, I will try to do a refinement in Phoenix and show you how quick it works. And simultaneously, we try the court and check the maps. So we do a simple refinement here. I have uploaded the PDB and corresponding MTZ. Then go to the refinement settings. We keep everything basic and increase the processors and check the output. Get back. So we keep the number of cycles to three and let's run. So court is open instantly and let's have a look at the log file once. Then look back the court window. The structure is loaded with the map. You can see how smooth it can rotate. I'm using trackpad here, which I'm not used to. Uh, generally, I use mouse, so it's a bit inconvenient for me to rotate smoothly. But the computer is really smooth. So let's notice the electron density here. This structure is at 2.1 angstroms, so you can see a good electron density. So the next test is to increase the map radius. Let's check 50. And there is not much problem, but I feel slightly heavy in rotation. But more or less, it's okay. So let's change it back to 30. This feels even better. Already two rounds of refinement is done. I am forwarding this entire sequence and the refinement took nearly 7 minutes 18 seconds. That's pretty fast. Comment below the machine you are using and how much time it takes to complete a refinement. So we can compare. So if you want to have a personal laptop for structural analysis, this is not a bad choice. Comment below what do you think about this laptop for structural biologists. And thank you very much for watching this video and please do subscribe the channel. See you in another interesting video. Until then take care. Bye bye.